Lucky Lucy Righty Tidy. And uh, I just uh technique for my idle air control uh, passages. And uh, he told me I needed to post a vi video, so, so here it is. I've got a throttle body here that uh, was on my truck prior to uh, me putting the groove in a junkyard piece. And so this is the original throttle body without the groove that I'm getting ready to apply the groove to. Uh, it's it's different than the than the first throttle body. A couple of years ago, I got this out of the. It's a, a 5.7 Chevy. Uh, anyway. Here, here's how we're going to do this. All right, the colored items are pipe cleaners. Okay, and I've got a piece of aluminum foil stuck in there to uh, help hold the the plates open. All right, and the idea is to get that that throttle uh, that. Uh, to get the airflow from the idle air circuits away from the groove as much as possible. And I'm hoping that I'll be able to, I'll, I'll probably start the JB weld right here and go all the way to the throttle plate at least and uh, really redirect that, that line. Now what we're going to do is these have been pre-bent to the um, the routing we want to use, we're going to take these pipe cleaners. This is candle wax. Okay, as you can see, I, I'm, I'm heating it up right now and it's melting. Once all that, uh, once that melts till it's uh, water clear, we're going to gently, carefully take these present pipe cleaners and dip them in the wax and saturate them. Okay, once you once you've got that done, lay them lay some JB weld in there and be, you know, once you've got your dams up here, and I've still got to do that and get our dams up and then um, lay a little bit of JB weld in there, then press these down in there and then lay some more JB weld on. Okay? Once the JB weld cures, <clears throat> we'll take this and wrap it around like a screwdriver or something and give it a yank. And that'll that'll pull that wax coated pipe cleaner out of the JB weld, leaving a nice almost exactly three sixteenths inch diameter orifice. And once once everything's hardened up sufficiently, you can take a another pipe cleaner and go ahead and run it through the hole to make sure that, you know, you have no blockage and that it's clean.